Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about one of the most important skills that you have to develop to successfully transition to being a software engineer. And that is the skill of being disciplined and motivated even when things are going really tough. Even though programming can be a lot of fun and it can be exciting to build things, there are a lot of things that are going to happen during your transition that's going to be very difficult like when you're dealing with rejection after rejection after rejection. So that's why it's important to stay motivated and stay positive throughout this entire process. Because at the end of the day, if you can keep going and if you can keep grinding it out, I promise you, you'll be at a better place and you'll be really happy and really proud with yourself at the end of the process. So today I'm gonna to be sharing five tips that help me stay motivated throughout this entire process. Tip number one is finding your why. Before you even start this process, you have to know why you're even going to dedicate all these hours and all this time. Like, why are you doing this? You have to know why. If you don't have a strong reason why, it's gonna be very easy to lose motivation and decide to veer off this path. When I was going through this process, my why was pretty strong. I knew that if I was able to successfully do this transition, to becoming a software engineer, I would be opening so many doors for myself. I would be giving myself access to top companies that are working on very innovative projects. I'd be giving myself a really good working career and I'd have access to a higher salary. I just knew that by doing this process, I would be opening so many doors for myself and so many opportunities for myself. So I had a really strong why. So before you even start this process, you need to have a strong reason why you're doing this. And if you are someone who needs to do it this way, make sure you write it down. If you have to say to yourself every single day to stay motivated, make sure you say it to yourself, but you need to have a strong reason why you're doing this process. The second tip I have is to commit to small measurable goals. It can be really overwhelming to all of a sudden decide that, oh, I want to be a software engineer. Or like as you start your journey, you'll realize, wow, I only know this much and there's this whole entire thing. There are all these things that I have no idea Child. what they are. But one of the main things that can help you overcome being overwhelmed is to commit to small goals. So as I was starting my transition and I was feeling overwhelmed, one of the ways I was able to overcome being overwhelmed is by committing to very small measurable goals. So one of my goals was before work every day, I would just dedicate one to two hours to learning how to program. And because this goal was measurable, like I knew I would be dedicating one to two hours, it was really easy to sort of track my goal and make sure that I was staying consistent in doing that goal. So the third tip that I have is to do more project-based learning. Honestly, reading programming books can be extremely boring and doing classes can be also extremely boring. So one of the ways to combat that is by doing projects and trying to solve problems that you're actually interested in. So one of the projects that I did um, during my journey was this data visualization project where I mapped out income inequality based on US census data. By looking through that data and by figuring out how to map it, I learned a lot about Python. I got to learn about the Bouquet library and I just honestly had a good time doing that project. So if you find yourself losing motivation, maybe this might be time to sort of switch to doing more project-based learning and seeing what you can build. Make, and also making sure that the things you're building are actually excited to build them and they're projects that are really interesting to you. So my fourth tip would be to find a community of people who are going through this process. Like having a friend or a group of people who understand this process, who are also trying to reach this goal, makes this process a lot easier. Like whenever I dealt with any rejections or I was having difficulty understanding things, like having a community and people to turn to made this process a lot better for me. My community kept me accountable and they also motivated me to keep going and to keep striving. If you live in a big city like I do, one of the best ways to find a community is by going on meetup.com and looking at the available meetups. There are a lot of meetups for people who are interested in JavaScript and Python. Like there's a huge community when you're in major cities like I live in. If you're in a smaller city and you just don't have access to a lot of meetups in your city, another way to find community is just by going online. There are a lot of Discord groups, Facebook groups, 
and also Reddit groups with people who are learning to program and are starting this journey just like you. Also guys, as you're finding people who are also going through this journey, it's important to reduce anyone who is bringing any negativity or distracting you from this journey, cut them out, cut it out. <laughs> you don't want them to sort of like distract you or discourage you because you're gonna be dealing with a lot of internal self-doubt. You don't want people outside also distracting you and discouraging you from doing this journey. So make sure to also reduce your interactions with people who are telling you that this is impossible or you can't do this. Finally, the fifth tip I have is to surround yourself with imagery and with content of people who actually successfully did this. I love reading success stories. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things. And during my process, I found a lot of success stories that I'll link down below in the description box. Hearing how people did this and hearing that people were actually able to successfully do this really pushed me and really encouraged me to keep on going. So make sure as you're taking this journey to also, maybe you can have like a little folder of stories that really motivate you and really encourage you to keep going. Or on Instagram, you can add people who are doing this journey and who are posting motivational content. So the final tip that I have that I actually did not do and I really should have prioritized this is finding ways to manage your stress. During this process, you're gonna feel extremely stressed out because honestly, there's a lot to learn. Finding tools to manage your stress will be essential and you don't have to spend a lot of money to find these tools. You can just maybe take a walk, jog, do some exercise, meditating, even just going to sleep sometimes can help you manage your stress and reduce your stress. Because at the end of the day, this might be very cliche, but it is a marathon, not a sprint. This process isn't gonna take one month. It's probably gonna take like a year. It's, or even longer, honestly. So don't worry, you wanna pace yourself and you wanna have habits that will get you to the finish line. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time.